I'm Jane Fendelman. I want to talk to you today about the four A's. This is a way that you can heal any wound in your beloved relationship, whether it's recent or ancient history. Now guys, you know it, admit it. One of your biggest mistakes is when you say to your woman, honey, you need to get over that or you're overreacting or you're too sensitive. Oh, it's gasoline on the fire. Guys, why are you even saying that? Don't say that. Kick that vocabulary out of your life. Don't ever say that to your woman again, unless you really want to get her to blow up. When I realized about 20, 22 years ago, when I first became a counselor, that people aren't getting over things. Or they either get stuck in it, or the other person tells them, get over it, which makes them more stuck in it, especially women. So I developed a technique for healing old wounds for couples. It doesn't matter if it's a recent wound or from years ago. Men's biggest complaint about women is they don't get over things. In fact, men are in the habit of saying, you're overreacting, you're too sensitive, you're making a mountain out of a molehill. Guys, don't say that. That's like gasoline on the fire. Why say that? Stop saying that. Now there's a very scientific reason why women don't forget these old wounds. We have a big, thick corpus callosum. Those are the fibers that connect the right and left, left hemisphere of the brain. It's like a super highway. So over here is logic in the left side and over here is emotion in the right side of the brain. Women are thinking and feeling at the same time, all the time. That's very confusing to men who are really hanging out most of the time here in the left side logic. If you ask a man, how do you feel? He's got to travel over this little tiny dirt road because his corpus callosum is really little compared to ours. It's fibers. And then he's got to check out his feelings over here. And then he's got to make sense of it and put it into words. So men and women, very different. And men, have you ever gone fishing? Well, if you open up a box of fish hooks and you pull out one hook, what happens? All the rest come with. Women are so connected emotionally. Men have everything in neat little boxes. For women, it's a big circle. Everything's all connected in their mind, in their psyche, in their body, and in the world, and in their relationships. So when we have a wound, a recent wound, it pulls up all the other old wounds. That's what happens. Okay, so we're gonna fix all that right now, today. So the four A's. The first A is acknowledge that you hurt the person. Acknowledge. So you're gonna sit down, you're gonna get eyeball to eyeball with your beloved and you're gonna say, my darling, tell me your wound. And then she might say, well, last week when you were late for our anniversary dinner, it broke my heart. And you made it my fault by saying you were late because you stopped to get flowers for me. And then you acknowledge, my darling, I broke your heart by being late for our anniversary dinner and I made it your fault by saying I was late because I stopped to get flowers for you. I understand. You're going to understand and acknowledge. That's what people need to heal a wound, to feel understood. Then step two, apologize. You're going to repeat the same line and you're going to use her words. And I know in the counselor world, we say you're not responsible for someone else's feelings, but just for the four A's, we're going to pretend like you are because we're soothing a hurt, wounded child, part of that person. So you're going to say, my darling, I deeply apologize or I'm very sorry for breaking your heart by being late for our anniversary dinner and then making it your fault by saying, I'm late because I stopped to get flowers for you. Then step three, act of amends. You're gonna ask her, what can I do to make it up to you, my darling? Now this is why the four A's works so well. The first two are on you, the person who did the wounding. You have to acknowledge and apologize. The second two are on her. Active amends and ask for forgiveness, which we'll get to. It's on her to come up with an act of amends that's big enough to match the size of the wound. Little wound, little act of amends. Big wound, 
big act of amends. So maybe she says, well, I would love it if you would take me to dinner at my favorite restaurant and write me a card apologizing and promising to never do that again. Or at least give me 20 minutes notice if you're going to be late rather than just showing up late. And then you say, my darling, I would love to do that act of amends for you. Now, as much as possible, we agree to whatever act of amends they ask. They're not going to ask for something illegal or immoral. Just they're not and don't. The act of amends. So you should agree to it. The act of amends has to have a beginning date and an ending date. It has to happen by a certain day. They have to give you a day. It needs to happen by the weekend. It needs to happen by Saturday night. It needs to happen by the end of the month. Step four, ask for forgiveness. Now this is what we always forget to do. Ask for forgiveness. We just walk around feeling guilty and the person walks around beating up on us. We don't have to do that. So you say, my darling, can you please forgive me for breaking your heart like that? Now she's either going to say yes, yes, I'm forgiving you now. Or she might say, well, I could forgive you when you do the act of amends. Please ask me again then. Or she might say, I can forgive you half now and then half later when you do the act of amends. Please ask me again. It's up to her. But when you ask for forgiveness and your beloved finally forgives you, it's done. And if it comes up in the future, because you know, guys, that's how women do it. Something happens and she brings it up again and you're like, oh my God, this again? You're going to say, my darling, we did the four A's for that. Remember? And now she's got to remember because women are in the habit of carrying things <laughs> physically, mentally, emotionally. She's going to say, oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. You took me to that lovely dinner. Oh yes. You gave me a massage. Oh yes. You rubbed my feet. Oh yes. You cleaned the house. Oh yes. Okay. I'm forgiving you again. Thank you for reminding me. Or she's going to say, oh, I did not come up with a big enough act of amends. Can we do the four A's again, please? For that. That was my fault. I didn't come up with a big enough act of amends. Let's go back and do it again. And then she has to come up with something bigger so that she can let it go. So that is the four A's. If you will use the four A's for any wound that keeps on resurfacing, don't just ask her to get over it because frankly guys, women don't work like that. And if you've noticed, because women don't work like that, they start shutting down and a woman's womb is connected to her heart. That's where she stores all her pain, all her pleasure there in her womb. And I always tell guys, listen, if her heart is closed, her legs are closed. So if you want to reawaken your woman and make her fall in love with you again and restart your romance, practice the four A's for all the old wounds and eventually she'll run out of stuff and then you'll be current and you'll only be doing four A's for recent things. Your willingness is the biggest part of the healing, your willingness to help her heal. And this is not just for women, obviously, and you want to try to keep it equal. So guys, if you do a four A's for her, she's going to reciprocate and she's going to do the four A's for you as well. I'm Jane Fendelman. Thanks for joining me. You can find me on the web at janefendelman.com and feel free to call me at 602-532-0335. Now, the third step, oh, the third step, together. <laughs> the fourth, <laughs> this is really good. <laughs> no, this is really good. <laughs> and knock them out, just knock them out. Knock them out, all right. Okay, and my hair's right. Yeah, you're good. <clears throat> Hi, my name's Joint. <laughs> okay, keep rolling. <laughs> Hi, my name's Jane Fendelman.